I visited Italy when it was open, just barely two weeks. Look at the lines. Italy's huge, and it's going to be an absolute joy for anyone who loves food. It's perfect for multitasking. My plan of attack, my recommendation, is to go to the wine bar and pick up one of the beautiful big crystal glasses and have them fill it for you because they let you walk around with wine while you shop and talk and perhaps stop to eat. But you know, Italy's more than just shopping or dining, it's entertainment. There's a vegetable butcher, a concierge that peels and cleans and wraps up your vegetables. There's a guy that makes fresh mozzarella. I've been watched him for the longest time. It's fascinating, I've never seen it done, and he's a master. Pick up one of these great shopping carts and start looking around and exploring. I found this great spoon. It's just for risotto. Never seen one before. And that went into my cart. The next thing I put in was this big fish spatula. Beautiful. So useful. I mean, where am I going to see one like that again? And then there was a pasticcio uh, spatula that you can pick a pasticcio with and cut it. And above it, I found a great Parmesan knife to sort of hack off big pieces from a wheel of cheese. And yes, frequently you'll be reminded of the great chefs that started this wonderful concept. Mario Batali, Bastianich, Lydia and her son Joe. You will also find tons of pasta, breadsticks, olive oil explained to you from Liguria, from all regions of Italy. I love this olive oil with lemon. There's a great bookstore. There are regional handcrafted beers. There's so many, just pick one of each. There are tons of jams and jellies and confectionaries and ham. An enticing display of shellfish. And right next to it, a wonderful display of fish, including fish, something called blowfish, which I haven't seen before, but that looked amazing. Everything looked ready to go to take home and just cook and enjoy. They tell me that the meat counter has Italian cuts of meat, so the next time I'm going to stop longer and have them explain it to me and pick out different ones. And if I don't have time to cook that day, I'm going to take home one of these great looking chickens. There are wood burning ovens, baked bread, focaccia, pizza, and you can buy handmade fresh pasta. Besides shopping, there is wonderful dining here. Many restaurants, all purveying excellent food. There's a pizza restaurant making Neapolitan pizza in wood-burning ovens. I really like the concept of their central piazza, where you stand at high tables, the wine bar, food from stations are all around you. You can have cured meat and cheese to share, fresh mozzarella made just to this other side of the room. It's just a wonderful place to meet and talk and relax and, and stop and enjoy life. Yeah. 
And my favorite is always raw oysters, so they have a wonderful raw oyster bar. A restaurant dedicated just to fish. They have a restaurant dedicated just to vegetables called Le Verdure. There's a coffee bar. They make fresh gelato on the premises. They sell Vinci chocolates and they even have a chocolate fountain where you can buy a chocolate shot for a dollar. Excellent. Dolce to satisfy your sweet tooth? Yeah, you get that one, yeah. <laughs> couldn't resist, so I had my dinner at Manzo Restaurante, where the former Babo sous chef Michael Toscano is cooking. Uh, they have a, a beef tasting bar here where you can sit up and try different kinds of beef and wine pairings. I chose to sit in the formal restaurant and have a wonderful meal. Honestly, it was absolutely incredible. I had vitello tonato. Brasato with an incredibly creamy fresh polenta below it. I was ecstatic over this shaved vegetable salad, great bread. And you know it above all, the service here was impeccable, really impeccable. And I had a wonderful Prosecco. I have to say my whole meal was outstanding. Italy surpassed all my expectations. I can't wait to come back.